Hi, I'm Phil. This is the Sliders episode. This is an editing cue for John. This is Sliders. Warped Wing Sliders. Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Aaron. Hi, I'm Jake. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. We're still here at Warped Wing Brewery in uh, Dayton, Ohio. We haven't been kicked out yet, and therefore we're going to teach you how to make 10 ton onions and bison burger sliders. Uh, so this recipe is made, it's made out of onions, so I got to chop onions. And uh, here they are, here are the onions. We're cutting three onions. They're red onions. You can find all of the letters in the word onion in the phrase olives, noodles, in uh, overcooked noodles. So we'll, we'll chop the onion. There it is, take the peel off. Old Aaron told me to do like a half inch julienne, okay? And in true PGC fashion, just keep doing that till you're done. <laughs> Okay, for this recipe, we're pouring three cups of 10 ton oatmeal stale. And it's called 10 tons because we are in an, an iron factory <laughs> or something. I don't know where we are. What a perfect pour every time. It's called 10 tons because that thing up there is 10 tons. It's a crane from the original iron foundry. Not iron, iron. You guys hoist anything with that? Not anymore. Makes sense. You guys should get like a big pair of pants for the brewery and hoist them up with that. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> What's the best value item on the menu? Best bang, best, best bang for your buck. The best value menu. I'd have to say the bison bacon burger. Just plain. It's like, uh, what is it, $11? That's pretty good. Pretzel bun? Pretzel bun? Pretzel bun? For God's sake. That sounds like a damn good value. Great value. And patty. We'll show and you later. Patty. Here I go light in the burner. Medium high. That's high. That's medium high. So we're going to boil those onions down until it becomes a reduction. Reduction is a culinary term. It's very technical. Those will probably take about half hour. Ready? Set, go, don't drop it. Thanks, John. You're welcome, Phil. <laughs> hey, 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 who are you? And how did you end up in this kitchen? I'm just an innocent passerby. Just minding my <laughs> well, own thanks business. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. Welcome to Warped Wayne. What am I drinking? Baltic Argonaut 2018 aged in a rye whiskey barrel. 11.5%, brother. Mama Mia. That's, that's gonna get me where I'm going. That is really nice. So goosey. It was aged in a rye whiskey barrel. That's your good night here though. It might be for you. I'm, I'm hanging in. We're gonna do a tour later, right? As long as you're on your feet, we're good. I can hit that goal. We're back after some time, about 30 minutes or so. Our 10 ton onions have reduced. These look wonderful and caramelized. They're ready to be utilized in the next step of the burger making process. Is it done? Yes, I mean, for the onions, yeah. You hit onion on my fork. Who could ask for more? Cheers. Cheers. It is, that's the onion. They're delicious. Ooh, they're extra sweet. They're very sweet. It tastes like a sweet onion that was cooked in beer. I really like it. Can't wait to eat that on anything. Hey, that's what we're gonna do next. Here I am standing with General Manager Aaron. We're standing over a bowl of meat. So if you're vegan and watching this episode, well, that's your cue to stop watching. This is a bowl of bison and bacon ends. And Aaron very excitedly told me about this earlier. So can you, can you recreate, can you drop some knowledge on what it is this is. Sure, I'll be glad to recreate my excitement as well. It is bison, which is known as a lean meat, and then I take bacon ends in pieces, par cook them so that we can still serve a burger medium rare, and then we uh, put it in the freezer till it freezes, fat and all. We want to render some of the fat out. We then mix, we grind that, and mix it into the bison. So that is the white you see throughout the uh, bison is the striations of the fat and the pork all ground up, mixed in with the ground bison. The master brewer here, his name's John, he gave me this big beer that I don't know the name of it. Baltic Argonaut. Baltic Argonaut 2018? Aged in rye whiskey barrels. In a rye barrel. And he had to do me like that, but here we are. <laughs> and we're making the burgers, and I gotta take this this moment to tell you one of my dumbest jokes. All right, I love it. What did the Buffalo father say to his children when they left the for their first day of school? On the board. I'm not gonna answer that because I want you to answer it. Bye, sons. Awesome. That's actually on our board. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. It is. Um, yeah! is full of dad jokes? No, I didn't know. No. Bye, son. I'm off to Warp Wing to meet bacon. Okay, here's that beer. Can't wait to hang out with John later. See, he, he did this to me. <laughs>
So it's one of those beers, like a Scotch Ale or something. Well, it's not a Scotch Ale because it was in rye barrels, but it's one of those beers that's got so much booze in it that it might as well be liquor. So there it is, John's Liquor Beer. Do you like it? Hell yeah, it's f***ing great. So when you're doing burgers, and I'm gonna teach you a little trick when you're doing burgers. If you have a burger that falls apart in the grill, it means your burger had too much air in it. So if you actually kind of knead your meat and toss it like that, that is not just for uh, show, but it is to get the air out of the burger so that when you make a patty, it stays perfectly around. It does not break up. And that's why you always want to really work your meat when you're making burgers. That's what I do too. And it's counter to like the modern narrative where they're like, just don't touch the meat at all. Just uh, put it into a patty with as little, little touching as possible. And f that, you make a big ball and you smack it around until it's a patty and it'll right. stick together. You gotta get the air out of it. I could do this. I've done this before. Yeah, you work it into a ball and then you do the smacks. Yeah, the smacks. Smacks are essential. Perfect. Here you go. I could work here. Look at that. So we're gonna. It make... fits right in. Look at that. It fits right in. You don't even know it's mine. We'll make two sliders. Two sliders. Two orders. Two orders, two orders of sliders. Look, was our sliders are three. What is that? Like twenty sliders? <laughs> twenty sliders. Yes. <laughs> Counting is not my strong suit. That's just my dream slider order. And you put your butter flavored oil on your pretzels. And by butter flavored oil, I mean butter. And you really just don't hold back. Because the more butter you put on there, the fatter your customers are gonna get. The fatter they get, the more beer they're gonna drink. And it's a self perpetuating business. Obesity at 29. That's our goal. That's that's PGC's goal, not Warped Wing. Warped Wing is a legitimate business. I'm salting. And does not support young obesity. I'm putting pretzel salt on those slider tops. Here they are, they're in the oven. What temperature is that oven? It is at 375. If you ever wanted to know what it's like to be SpongeBob, this is it. You put just put them on. We're making two orders of sliders, which by my count is 20 burgers. But how many burgers is it actually? Uh, six. Six. Season your patties. That's secret seasoning. Copyrighted. Warped Wing Brewery. All rights reserved. Now they taste good. The thing with burgers, you flip them when it gets a little side color. Easy squeezy, right? Science. It's math okay. science. That's yeah. how food works. All right, a little slider's almost done. Time to heat up some of these 10 ton onions. Gonna warm those onions up. While those are going, we can start distributing burgers to the masses. There you are, bourgeoisie. So moving the onions around, that's how you cook. Looks fine to me. Does that look normal? Yeah, that's fine. normal oh, yeah. These Wait. onions were made out of 100% real onions. Grown from dirt. This is our uh, secret recipe, Gamma Bomb Mustard, made in house with our Gamma Bomb IPA. It's a beer mustard made with both yellow and black mustard seed, which gives it like a pub mustard and a horseradish sauce taste. And then just put a little, a little blop. Blips and blaps and blops. Blah. And that is the warped wing slider. Here it is. Greasy hands, warm hearts. It's really good. It's greasy as all hell in the best way. The bison flavor comes through. You know, you got like that grass-fed natural taste. The mustard really complements all of that meat action. Kind of cuts it up with that spiciness. Fantastic. This is like food to be like totally blitzed and this will save your life. Speaking of lifesavers, I have little napkins. But that's how you do it. That's how you do it, right there. That's, that's how, how you do it. it. <laughs> that's perfect. 